Yeah, simply talk to the ghost. Think of them as a person standing across from you that just doesn't have to happen to have a body. And usually they are on a very different um, vibration, a different existence. But when you intend to communicate with them, typically you can and they can. So it's, it's as simple as really saying, hey, um, you were here first. What can I do for you? Are we doing something that's bothering you? How can we live together peacefully? Because some of these ghosts really feel strongly, hey, it's my place. And a good example, I went to someone's home and the rocking chair would frequently rock and they had some, you know, just things that went bump in the night. And they wanted to know what it was. They weren't really frightened. They just knew they needed to have a conversation. So I assisted them in talking to their ghost, a little old lady. She was fine. She was happy. But they had a rocking chair that she really loved. But she really didn't like where it was. And it was interesting. It was an old antique rocker that had been left in the garage of the home when they moved in. So they put it where they thought it looked cool. And she would tip and rock the rocker. More for feisty than for the enjoyment of rocking. But she simply told them where she would prefer the rocker in a, a nice sunny spot that had no traffic in the home. And it made that space her own and that's where she hung out. That's all really she wanted and all they wanted was to get to know who was making things go bump in the night. Everybody lived peacefully every after. 